In this video, I'll show you how to use index match to match row and column numbers. In our example, we have a group of employees and their shift patterns over the course of two weeks. To save them having to sift through the entire sheet to find their shift pattern, we want to create a function which enables them to input their name and the date they're looking up and automatically returns their shift pattern for that day. To do this, we can use the index and the match functions. In other words, we'll use the match function twice within the index function to look up both vertically and horizontally. Let's briefly describe both functions. The index function returns the value of a cell in a particular row or column within a range. For example, if we type equals index, select this range, and then type 4, it will retrieve Jack, as Jack is the fourth name in our list. The match function finds the position of an item in a range. For example, if we type equals match, look up the name Michael within the range we selected earlier, and then type false to provide an exact match, it returns 7, as Michael is the seventh name in the range. By combining index and match, we can create a very powerful lookup tool. In our case, we want to return the shift pattern for a particular person for a given date. Therefore, we need to start with the index function as it fulfills this purpose. We type equals index and firstly select our range. Our range will be the entire data set of shift patterns as we want to be able to select any date and any name within our sheet and retrieve the corresponding shift pattern. Next, it asks us for the row number. In other words, which name do we want the index function to look up? Since this needs to be a number, we can't simply type Michael, but instead need to use the match function to provide the row number that Michael is in. If we type match, first input the lookup value, which is the name, followed by the range within which we're looking up the name Michael, which is this range here. And finally, we type zero or false as it's an exact match. Next, the index function is asking us for the column number. In other words, which date do we want the index function to look up? Once again, we can use the match function to provide Excel with the column number which corresponds to the date we're looking up. As before, we type match, open brackets, enter the date that we're looking up, which is currently hidden, but it's the date in cell C5, we then select the range of possible dates. And finally, we click zero or false for an exact match. To finish, we close brackets twice and click enter. As you can see, Excel has returned Michael's shift pattern on the 7th of December. In this case, he's on holiday, which is indeed the case as shown here. Now, if we change the name to Sally and change the date to the 9th of December, the shift pattern updates accordingly and retrieves the correct one, as shown here. Therefore, the employees using this worksheet can save themselves the hassle of having to find their shift manually and instead can simply plug in their inputs and retrieve the corresponding shift pattern. This can really make a big difference and increase efficiency, especially if you have numerous colleagues and several months of shifts to sift through. So that's how you can use the index match function to match row and column numbers. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.